All right, uh, this is Arifur Rahman Shamim, and I will be taking your precast interview today. And uh, for your information, this rec uh, this interview will be recorded for future references. And you need to be uh, be very specific and precise in your answers. Do not speak, speak anything irrelevant because this interview is highly time sensitive. So we need to use our time properly. Is that all right with you? Okay. Okay, okay. Can you please start with your name and date of birth? My name is Abdullah and my date of birth is 10 June 2003. Sorry? My name is Abdullah and my date of birth is 10 June 2003. 10th June 2003. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, does the name Abdullah appear in your passport or do you have any, any other name in yes. your passport? No, no. I have just on my passport, Abdullah. What is your student's reference number? 277-3205. Okay. And which course did you choose to study? First, first of all, I will be studying in International Foundation Air, and after that, I will be studying BS Honors Computing Science. BS Honors Computer Science. Okay, uh, yes. Abdullah. What was your last academic degree? I decided I've done my intermediate uh, in computer science in 2020, uh, 2021. And after that, I started work as a computer operator in Royal Tracer International from 1 December to till today. Okay. Have you appeared in any other English test before this? Yeah. Yes, I have appeared in arts test. i done arts. Okay, that's great. All right, uh, now let me ask you, why uh, are you flying abroad? Why not Pakistan? Yes, this most important reason that I may want to study in UK is the higher demand of international degree in my home country. And UK education is recognized by all over the world. The most important reason I, that I personally mention here is yeah, Pakistan education structure and system is need more improvement and still developing. The teaching approach method method is used is not practical and advanced as compared to UK. So if I get chance to study in UK, that is very that is very worthful for my career prospect. And also Pakistan degree takes more time as compared to UK. In UK graduates degree takes three three years, and while Pakistan degree takes four to five years due to political unrest and session delays. All right. Okay, I, I got it. So, uh, uh, I mean, uh, why did you choose this course, uh, the computer science, and how it is actually uh, aligned with your previous study? As earlier I said, I have done intermediate in computer science, so that I, I wanted to computer science. Okay. Okay, so uh, how, how do you think this course will help you in the future? Yes, obviously, from the beginning, I, I, I have interest in computers, so I wanted to become a software engineer, so that is a good base for me to become a software engineer, to do as a, if, uh, computing science. So this course will, will be very helpful for my career. Like in this course, I, I will learn about computer basic, like software development, how to create uh, websites, Okay. All right. I got it. So, test coding. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Abdullah, can you please uh, show me a 360 view of the room where you are sitting now? Okay. Okay. Yes, obviously. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. Okay. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now uh, let me ask you, uh, why did you choose actually uh, University of Huddersfield? Yes, to be honest, I have chosen University of Huddersfield for some reason. Like it, it is located in Huddersfield, a great location, a great location in, in the UK. 
that is uh, three hour away from London. And in this city, all modern facilities and opportunities like gym, hospitals, transport, good transport, care homes, and countryside, countryside canals, uh, canals, and etc. And secondly, the teacher here is in the top three in England, and they have uh, high, having they having proper proportion having doctor, doctorates having holding higher degrees and possessing teaching qualification and plus Huddersfield uh, is very famous among international student plus uh, campus is equipped with computer rooms libraries quick study areas and photocopying facilities and et cetera, they, they provide a lot of facility for international students. So that's why I choose Huddersfield as compared to other universities. Uh, have you considered any other university apart from University of Huddersfield? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I have considered other universities. I have seen two universities, Bedfordshire and Portsmouth, but I did not choose one of them because of their poor ranking in the Times World Higher University Ranking 2021. Huddersfield was ranked 200 to 250 was Bedfordshire was ranked 800 to 1000 and Petsmouth was ranked 400 to 500 in 2021 besides that they they not uh, they not among international students up to standard plus they did not respond my application timely but Hyderabad was respond was respond timely so that's why I chose University of uh, University of Hyderabad Yes. Okay, uh, now, uh, I mean, uh, wh why UK actually? Why did you choose UK? You have uh, USA and Canada. Why not these countries? Why UK? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, UK is uh, recognized by its world-class education and diversity. UK education is recognized by all over the world. And mm -hmm. I will talk about other countries like USA, Canada, and Germany. The course duration in this country takes more time as compared to UK. For example, in USA, master degrees and graduates degrees take more time as compared to UK. And UK education structure also provide plenty of choices in courses, but while in USA, courses are rigid. So and another main factor is when we move to other countries, we're looking for we look for accommodation and living costs. But these countries are too much higher as compared to UK. For example, Canada in Canada, it's almost thirty thousand Canadian dollar to thirty five thousand Canadian dollar per year. But as in UK, it's almost it's almost. Uh, uh, 11,808 pounds per year. The courses are same, but fees are double for international student. That is the main priority to choose for UK. But now after, after that, we talk about uh, research. UK, 54% of its output that is higher than uh, USA, Canada, and Germany. So All that's right. why I choose UK as compared to other countries. Okay, uh, yeah, I got it. Now, <clears throat> let me ask you about the modules. Uh, what are the modules uh, in your uh, international foundation here? Yes, I have total seven modules. It's depend on two terms. First, in first term, I have three modules, pure math, applied math, and English and language skills. And in the second modules, I have uh, second terms, I have four modules. First one is computing, physics, and English language and skills. And last one is personal thinking and critical. Okay. Uh, what do you think you will learn in the module physics? Yes. I, I will learn in my physics module about uh, how to contribute physics in society and for economy. Okay. And basic, basic things about physics. Okay. And what about the module critical thinking skill you said? Yeah. In the, in the I will learn about the six transferable skills that is very that prove very worthful for my life situation and about life observations. All very right. helpful for my So what what are the possible career options do you think you will have after completing this degree in Pakistan? Uh, Yes, I have interest to be become a software engineer. 
as a software engineer my job to do uh, make a new website for computers and applications no 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 that, that's okay but my question is what are the possible career options what other options do you think you have a lot of, this lots of uh, options a uh, lots of options but my first priority to become a software engineer can you tell me some, some options job. okay software engineer is okay can you tell me some other options career options yes uh, in it field a lots of options like civil engineers okay computer operators data entry operator okay and but i mean research about software engineer because okay so i have engineer. interest about it so that's okay why. now now tell me about yes. software engineer responsibilities Yes, as a software engineer, my responsibility responsible for monitoring, maintaining, and existing, exist and improving existing software, analyze data requirements, write and test coding, rewrite and refine if necessary. How much? How and, much do you think you can earn in this uh, profession uh, monthly in Pakistan? Yes, in our in our country, largest uh, largest companies they offer one lakh to one twenty one lakh twenty five thousand for fresh graduates, but it takes boost with the passage of time can i wh where can i see this information uh, <clears throat> i search about uh, to be honest i search about this from job websites which is jobmustaqbil.com pakistan job bank and, uh, and jobalert.com okay now uh, where will you stay in the uk i will be living in private accommodation can you tell me the area code of that address Yes, Fifth Street, Hurdle Street, HD One, Three PBX UK. And how much is the monthly rent there? My accommodation is going to be six twenty four pounds per month and one fifty six per week. Okay, and uh, where did you get this? The source of information, please. Yeah, I get this from online uh, on online websites like Zapola dot com. rightmove.co.uk and ambastudent.com okay how do you plan to commute from home to the university it takes almost 4 minutes by walk because the distance oh. from my accommodation oh it's very close my by. Almost 0.1 miles that okay, is true, yes right. and who is going to bear your expenses my father my father bearing my expenses talk about your father please uh, what does he do and how he earns and how much he's a he, he, he's a businessman he is running small enterprises and small business small inter and he is he has also rental properties in our hometown he earned handsome amount approximately 4500 pounds per month per month okay what is the name of his business name of its business rf dot company where it is based it's based in sialkot that is our hometown okay does your father bear other expenses of your family members do you have family members no i have already one brother studying in australia already okay great any yes. other family members uh, uh, yes any Sorry? other family members Yes, my uh, one my brother is also his businessman. Oh, that's great. That's yes. great. Okay, now uh, let me ask you about how much is your living cost? How much? Yes, my living cost is going to be almost one thousand twenty four pounds per month, and Monthly. which is include six twenty six twenty four pounds for accommodation, two hundred for food, and, and two hundred for layer okay. activities. Okay, yes. can you uh, can you tell me your total uh, credit hours in your foundation year? No, I have no idea about that. You have no idea about it. Okay, you said you have total seven modules. Yes, seven modules foundation year. So you need to calculate how much is the total credit hours. You need to check the website. Okay, research properly. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. When, when do you plan to travel to the UK? Yes, I, my classes start to be uh, almost nine January twenty uh, twenty twenty three. So my plan to move UK almost uh, when I get visa and before one week for my classes. From your class, you want to try? Okay. 
Uh, how much is the total tuition fee at the foundation here? Uh, total tuition fee is 12,900. How much did you pay? I paid 9,500. Did you get any scholarship? Included in, included insurance fees in 9,500. It's also included with insurance fees. Okay, did you get any scholarship? No. No scholarship? Uh, yes. Okay, how much no, is no. the scholarship? No. Okay. Okay. No, Great. because I have no... Yes. Okay. Not no mentioned problem. in my offer letter, so... Where Where will you yes. study? Where will you study the foundation here? Sorry? Where will you study the foundation here? Because... Yes, because I was not directly made to not the university. Why, not why. Where? Where? Location. Where will where, you study? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, it's uh, the address of my study center is level 14, service building, University of Hurdle Feed, Queen Stage, West Yorkshire, UK. Okay. Have you got any friends or families in the UK? No, I am first in my family. Is this the first time you will be traveling to UK? Yes, it's my first time. Okay. What are the companies in Pakistan you would like to work in the future? Yes, I said two, two companies, which is NetSoul Technologies and System Limited. That is the most popular companies in our country. In Pakistan. Okay, so yes. once once you are done with the foundation degree, which course you will get into? I will I will be studying in a BS Honors, Computing and Science. Computing and Science. Okay, and after you finish right. this degree, what is your plan? What will you do? Yes, after completing after a successful completion of my degree, I will be returned back to my home country. Have you? Uh, have are you, no, no, no. Are you uh, okay? Okay. Are you aware of the fact that you can work? Uh, two years in in the UK after your study. Yes, yes, obviously I would love to. I I, I would love to get because it is very worthful for my career prospect. Uh, two years experience from UK and uh, when I uh, when I will come back to my country and some companies offer me like good salaries for having good salaries because uh, I have I have I have already two uh, two year experience from UK. Okay, uh, how much is your health insurance fee, IHS fee? Insurance fees? IHS fee, health insurance fee for an international student. Yes, uh, per, year, per year, 470. 470, okay. How much do you have to pay in total? Sorry, main, how much? How, how much do you have to pay? 240, 240. No, no, no. How much, do you, how much do you have to pay in total, like foundation year and three years bachelor degree? To 800, 1880 pounds. Okay. And what is the visa processing fee? What is the uh, 328 for individual? 328 pounds? Yes, 328 pounds. Okay. Okay, great. All right. So now, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you, you checked the University of Huddersfield uh, uh, on-campus facilities, right? What are the on-campus facilities you will get there? For international student? Yes. Yes, a lot of facility University of Hurdle we provide for international students. But I mentioned some of these like student union, student welfare services, career career and job shop services, libraries, cafe and gym, quit study area and spaces, green landscape with canals, and etc. Photocopying facilities and also printing facilities. All right. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. Abdullah. That is the end of our today's interview session and. Uh, you will shortly receive a feedback through email whether you passed or failed the interview. It was lovely talking yeah, to thank you. Thank you. It was nice talking thank to you. you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank Bye -bye. you.